Okay, I've got tired of moving, so I'm just kind of sitting here with my nerds and uh, my Gamsy horn. And I have yet... I pressed the button. I have reclined. So, I'm not moving anymore. Now, something else I found out. Dang it. Okay. Something else I found out. There is a lot of fighting. And pretty much... I don't know what the word is. But discrimination that's what it was there is a lot of discrimination against gay people now let me put it this way if you were born gay or your brother or sister or cousin or someone in your family was born gay because yes you are born that way it's not really a choice it's like being born black or white you don't have a choice now, if someone in your family was like that, you wouldn't give a shit. You would think it's normal, and you would hate people for saying it's wrong. Now, no, it's not a specific gene like black or white is, because that's given to you from your parents. Technically, this is still a gene. When you were born, you have a specific amount of chromosomes from the mom, and a specific specific amount from your dad well if you're a girl and you have more than half from your dad because yes that happens that's how you are a lesbian I think yeah you are female but you have more from your, from your dad yes I had that right that's how a lesbian is now vice versa you are a male but have more from your mother then you are gay. You don't have a choice in it. Now when you tell people, yes, you have a choice, being gay is wrong, think about this. If you were black or white, and someone came up to you and said, the color of your skin is wrong, you should change it. You would look at them and be like, the fuck are you talking about? I promise you. It's not a choice, and you're going to have to deal with that. It's just something that happens. Now, there are those crazy people, like me, who think they're part animal. Now that, I promise, is a choice, and I like to be different. You can say whatever you like to me. It's not going to change how I am, or who I am. Because I promise you, with a hobby of writing stories, I'm going to make some great story someday. And, uh, it's going to be amazing, and everyone's going to uh, be very sorry for what they said to me. Because after that story, and I become famous, that is when everyone is going to pay. Yeah. Because when a famous person... Like any sort of famous person, no matter who they are, if they're well known and they say they hate you, you're hated by everyone. Now, no guarantee that I'm actually going to become famous. Sure hope it happens, but no guarantee. I'm not completely putting that as my only resort to the future. I plan to fail. But I have two backup plans. I can go work at Subway for the rest of my life, and my friend can get me a job at her dad's jeweler, jewelry place. I don't know what it's called. Her dad's a jeweler. Pretty much, I can go get two different jobs. And then on top of that, I just finished acting and modeling school. And yes, I'm chubby, and I went to modeling school. You do not have to be that super stick skinny person, because trust me, that ain't pretty. That's nasty. Come on. When you can see your bones. Yes, and I talk like that. I seriously do. When you can see your bones through your skin, that ain't cute. That ain't pretty. That's nasty. Those girls that are like, oh, I'm so fat, I need to lose some weight, and they still skinny? That's the size you're supposed to be, honey. 
Alright, I just hit the five minute mark. I just saw it change. I have to go.